So Captain Scarlet is one of the more unique characters in Borderlands 2. Unlike many of the other DLCs, which were themed around a character that either appears or is at least voiced in Borderlands 2's vanilla game, Captain Scarlet really only appears in her own DLC and doesn't make any subsequent appearances afterwards. And I always thought that this was weird, especially when you consider that most of the other noteworthy DLC characters did seem to make subsequent appearances. For example, Professor Nakayama first appears in Sir Hammerlock's Big Game Hunt DLC, but then reappears in Borderlands the pre-sequel. Or in the case of Mr. Torg, who is actually voiced on the radio in Borderlands 2's vanilla game, he makes his first actual appearance in Torg's Campaign of Carnage, but he makes multiple reappearances in not just later Borderlands 2 DLCs, but he also makes an appearance in Borderlands the pre-sequel. As you can imagine, this has led to many to speculate about what happened to Captain Scarlet. So today, I figured I could go ahead and attempt to answer that question, as well as speculate on whether she will reappear in Borderlands 3 or not. So I guess without further ado, let's go over our interactions with Captain Scarlet in the Pirate's Booty DLC. So Captain Scarlet is from the planet of Eunomia, and before the events of the Pirate's Booty DLC, Captain Scarlet and an NPC that you later encounter named Sandman come across two pieces of the compass that are necessary to locate Captain Blade's Treasure of the Sands. However, in order to get one of the two compass pieces for herself, Scarlet ended up betraying Sandman by literally trying to stab him in the back. However, she failed, and as a result, Sandman escaped to Hater's Folly. By the time the player meets her in the Pirate's Booty DLC, Scarlet has her piece of the compass and tasks you with finding the other three. The first piece you go after is Sandman's, and after fighting through hordes of enemies in Hater's Folly, you eventually encounter Sandman and defeat him to take his compass piece. Afterwards, you end up raiding a Hyperion Caravan for the third, and for the fourth and final compass piece, the player has to interact and perform a few tasks for another NPC named Herbert. Once you have retrieved all four pieces of the Compass of the Sands, Scarlet has you go to Magnus Lighthouse to place the compass so the location of Captain Blade's treasure is revealed. Afterward, Captain Scarlet ends up betraying you by sending two of her lieutenants to defeat you. You ultimately defeat the lieutenants, and then you travel to the marked location, and you are gobbled up by the Leviathan. Now, while the player is trapped inside the Leviathan, they encounter Captain Scarlet along with her pet Rackhive, Roscoe. And there, the player ends up fighting and defeating Roscoe. Captain Scarlet escapes and informs the Vault Hunter that they will meet her again soon. Now, other than this final encounter after defeating Roscoe, we have not seen nor have we heard from Captain Scarlet herself. However, there is one notable mention of Captain Scarlet from Grandma Flexington during her own side quests in the Waddle Gobbler Headhunter pack. Now, at the very beginning of Grandma Flexington's story, she will start by talking about Captain Scarlet and her own encounter with her. I've got another story for you, but I'd like to tell it to all of your friends at once. An old lady like me has to save her voice, you know. Oh, you still want to talk with me? How incredibly sweet of you. Say, you'll never guess who I saw today. Captain Scarlet. She was robbing my retirement home with a few other brigands, and I recognized her from her wanted poster, and I said, Oh, hey, you fought the Vault Hunter, didn't you? And she bowed all elegantly and said something like, Indeed I did, madam, and said that you were really good at fighting and that you beat her fair and square. She didn't seem to harbor much of a grudge about it. Nice girl. You should think about meeting up with her again if you're not shacked up with anybody, you know? I mean, of course, you probably are. Gorgeous hunk of a vault hunter like you. I bet you're beating away suitors left and right. Look, you're blushing. Oh, I could just eat you up. <laughs> Basically, what we can infer from this is that Captain Scarlet is likely alive and still up to mischief during the events of the Walla Gobbler DLC, and by extension, she may still be alive after some of the events of both Borderlands the pre-sequel and Tales from the Borderlands. 
So going into Borderlands 3, it would seem that Captain Scarlet is indeed alive, though her whereabouts are currently unknown. The only real lead that we might have as to where her location might be is based on the fact that Grandma Flexington seems to suggest that Captain Scarlet wants to hook up with the Vault Hunter, though we can't say which one. Now, perhaps Grandma Flexington is referring to one of the male Vault Hunters, given the fact that she specifically uses the word hunk, which would certainly narrow some things down. However, even if you're playing as Maya, Grandma Flexington still uses the same phrase, so it could just be that Scarlet wants to get down with any Vault Hunter that she can. What I think we can say, though, is that Captain Scarlet is likely traversing Pandora, robbing people much like she did at Grandma Flexington's nursing home. So if you're wondering what happened to her, well, that's what happened to her. Perhaps the bigger question, though, is whether Captain Scarlet will return in Borderlands 3 or not. Now, if you ask me, it's pretty hard to say whether Scarlet will return in Borderlands 3 or not. But with that said, there is no doubt that the potential is there, especially when you consider that Captain Scarlet's voice actress, Colleen Clinkenbeard, also voices other essential Borderlands characters like Lilith and Patricia Tannis. And given that Lilith and Patricia Tannis will likely be returning in Borderlands 3, I don't see why Colleen Clinkenbeard couldn't play Captain Scarlet if she returns in the story. Plus, there's also the fact that Captain Scarlet was one of the more unique DLC NPCs from Borderlands 2, because most of the rest of them either have an appearance in the vanilla game, or they're just old characters that you've seen before. So, for example, you have Tiny Tina, Sir Hammerlock, and Moxie, who are frequently appearing in the vanilla game, or you have TK Baja, who appears in Borderlands 1. However, it also seems like Captain Scarlet should have returned in some capacity by now, whether that be in Borderlands the pre-sequel or in Tales from the Borderlands. And for the sake of comparison, Tiny Tina, Sir Hammerlock, Moxie, and Mr. Torg all had cameos in the pre-sequel to varying degrees, and each of them had a DLC in Borderlands 2. Scarlet, on the other hand, had a major campaign DLC and still didn't even get one single cameo in either Tales from the Borderlands or Borderlands the pre-sequel, and if you ask me, that's really weird. You may be interested to know that the developers for the Pirate's Booty DLC for Borderlands 2 did originally plan on killing off Captain Scarlet at the very end of the DLC. Granted, this was obviously cut content and never actually made its way into the game, but if you check some of the localization files for Borderlands 2 on PC, you'll discover that there is a line from Shade which says the following, and I quote, You killed Captain Scarlet. Cool. Very cool. You should get out of that worm and get your treasure. Now, while we know that Captain Scarlet was never really officially killed off, it is possible that the developers never intended for Captain Scarlet to reappear after the conclusion of her own DLC. After all, she hasn't appeared in any Borderlands games ever since, despite the fact that Shade, who is also from the Captain Scarlet and her Pirate's Booty DLC, has. Still, it's not like the developers forgot about Captain Scarlet, and it is likely they want to re-include her in something in the future, given that she was mentioned in the Waddle Gobbler DLC. Now, it's important to mention that this is speculation on my part, but what it might be is that Captain Scarlet is a pirate captain that's best implemented in a pirate-themed DLC, where she simply may be out of place elsewhere. For example, it probably wouldn't make much sense to include Captain Scarlet in something like Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep, which is a D&D themed DLC. Nor would it make much sense to include Captain Scarlet in something like Sir Hammerlock's Big Game Hunt DLC, where you're mostly fighting indigenous tribesmen. If you were to have Captain Scarlet appear in some way, you would probably have to be in a pirate themed area. After all, she couldn't just appear anywhere like Mr. Torg or Tiny Tina can, because Captain Scarlet would probably be out of place at a truck stop, 
but she might not necessarily be out of place in a properly themed bar or in a large sand skiff like we've seen in the Captain Scarlet DLC. In my personal opinion though, I would definitely like to see Captain Scarlet return in Borderlands 3. Perhaps you could simply run into her during the main story, or alternatively, if Borderlands 3 encompasses multiple planets, maybe you could encounter Scarlet along with a pirate-themed raider gang. Regardless though of how Gearbox decides to do it, it would be nice to see Scarlet again, and it might be a great excuse to reintroduce some of her signature weapons, like the Pimpernel, Greed, Sandhawk, Jolly Roger, 12-pounder, and even the Stinkpot. At the end of the day though, I think we can be pretty sure that Captain Scarlet is alive during the events of Tales from the Borderlands and beyond, going into Borderlands 3. It's just a matter of incorporating her into the story in a way that makes sense. But if we do end up coming across a gang of either space pirates or just a group of raider themed pirates in Borderlands 3, I would be surprised if we didn't encounter Captain Scarlet sometime afterward. But alright guys, I think that's going to pretty much wrap up this particular video. If you liked this video, feel free to leave a like, click the bell to join the notification squad, and as always, take care, and I'll see y'all next time.